I am here to present to you the larger gauge looms that y'all requested for the X loom. And Cindy Wood listened and they're fixing to go up on sale. They are making a half inch gauge and a 5 8 inch gauge loom. This is the 5 8 inch gauge and this is the half inch gauge X loom. And you can see their sizes and you can have a comparison size to the 160. They're slightly larger. They're still comfortable to use. And I'll be making sure that I get you the specs on how um, many pegs with no wedges, how many pegs maxed out with wedges, how far they decrease down to, what you can do on a single prong with how many pegs are there that kind of thing. So I'm going to go through that and if you need it written down as a fast um, reference it's going to be in the info box and it's going to be a blog link that's going to tell you all that in detail along with the swatches if you e-wrap or flatten it. Also um, I'd like for you to keep in mind that when using these two gauges you will be working them pretty much the same as you work the 3 8 inch gauge. In fact you can use all the same patterns. Typically I like to provide formulas where you can go in and get your basic head circumference and your basic measurements and you plug in your swatch count with your measurements and you can get whatever size you want. You can make the patterns that are on 3 8 on these. It's a matter of a little bit of adjustment, but you can use all the same patterns for the 3 8 on this loom. I haven't managed to, um, I haven't had the chance to work on the 5 8 inch gauge. It's not a um, gauge I work with a lot, but I'll make sure that there will be patterns that will come out for that. And I typically work on the half inch gauge a lot, and as you can see I'm working on a dress project right now with it. It is working out beautifully. You can see the increases are working out nicely. There's decreasing in here that you can't tell. Um, it, it really is making a difference. So everything that you've been seeing on the 3 8 inch gauge goes over to these gauges as well. So make sure that you go in and you check out the tips and techniques video and what makes them easier to use and how to loom knit them with it easier time, how to wedge decrease, how to wedge increase, and get proficient with those, and you can make about anything you want. I find that I'm getting to a point where I'm starting to think I'm not going to need as many looms as I once had because these are so versatile. So let me see if I can get you some specs that I can tell you about on the max out and that kind of thing on these looms, okay? So I'd like to give you some specs on what your different gauges are going to offer. In the 5 8 inch gauge, you have a max out with no wedges of 108 pegs total. If you add your wedges and you max them out, you have 100 pegs total. If you want to decrease, the smallest you can decrease down to with all four wedges is 16 pegs. And if you want to use single prongs for different projects, you can get a max amount of pegs with your wedge of 26 pegs. If you are wanting to know what the max of a panel you can get without the wedges, according to a basic swatch, if you flatten it or you knit with a super bulky yarn on the 5 8 inch gauge, you are going to get approximately 36 inches without wedges and 33 inches with wedges. Now if you're going to e-wrap with a super bulky yarn on the 5 8 inch gauge, you're going to get 43.2 inches without wedges and 40 inches with wedges if you choose to e-wrap. Now the swatching I will include in the info box and the blog so that you have a general idea of what you can do in general with that. So that is the 5 8 inch gauging. Next we need to go over the half inch gauge. Alright, it has a total of 128 pegs without wedges. Then it has 112 pegs you can use with all the wedges maxed out. Now the most you can decrease down to is 24 pegs 
and if you want to use a single prong, the most you have is 32 pegs on a single prong you can use with a wedge. Now, on a single panel, if you are using a generally worsted weight to bulky weight yarn in flat knit or U knit, you will get without the wedges 32 inches, with the wedges 28 inches. Now, if you're going to use an E wrap with a super bulky yarn, too bulky, you're going to get 42.6 inches without wedges and 37.3 inches with wedges maxed out. That's if you e wrap. Again, go in the info box below to see your general swatches for the different size yarns you can use. And that concludes your half inch gauge and your specs there. Now, what you may notice when you start looking at the info is that your half inch gauge and your 120 specs are very similar in their sizing, but you can see that the size comparison is quite a bit different. But that their specs are very similar when you start looking at a single prong, how much it can decrease down to, um, that kind of thing. You'll notice that they come out um, very similar on that. And um, so there's kind of a size comparison to the smaller X loom compared to the larger one. The, um, these two gauges are more comparative to the larger 160 and if you already have the 160 you kind of are going to get a similar sizing. Still comfortable to use. Um, make sure that if you're wanting to find an easier way to use the looms, make sure you check out the tips and techniques video. It shows you how to do some basics on there, casting on. These looms are not as intimidating as they look. They're basically, you take the circle and you make it into an X. And you're working the same way as if you were to work on a round loom. You're just working on an X. And trust me, it is not as intimidating as it looks. So if you find yourself a little hesitant to get the X loom, don't be. I think you'll be very satisfied with how it works, how it feels, how it moves. Many have said that it's easier than using an X loom. I mean an S loom and that it fits comfortably in the lap. I find I like to sit it between my legs, use knit this much bend and move it and knit that much and I find that that works very easily. Um, there's some that like to put them on a stand and work with them that way. You can. Um, that all shows up and it's explained in the tips and techniques video so don't hesitate to go over there and take a look. You can automatically translate without any number change or anything the teddy bear pattern from this loom to any of the other gauges. You're using a 48 pegs, I think, max out, and it decreases down to 24. So you can use a half inch, you can use, you know, if you, it's just going to make a larger teddy bear is what I'm going to tell you. It's just going to make you a large teddy bear. So you can do that. You can do the same techniques for making a skirt. You can do a lot of the same techniques, like when I, I eventually put out the origami sweater. It's the same concept with that. You can e-wrap it, make it even larger. Um, but the origami sweater only works to children's sizes, and that means younger children to babies. Even if you e-wrap, you're still working in the younger children range, probably closer to six and below. Um, but it's, it still works the same. The concept works the same. And... So don't hesitate to get, you can even work the beret, you can work the pointy hat, you can work all of them. Um, all you got to do, and here's a tip, if you work on a standard size loom for your hat shape, you use that many pegs and you can work exactly the same way as I show on my other um, techniques and that kind of thing. So it's no different, it's just a gauge difference. And so you can use all the X loom patterns and they translate over pretty easily actually. So that is Cindy Wood introducing the larger gauges as you requested.